And what is up everybody? Welcome back to Excelsior Sellers Yourself for another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing awesome. So today we have another customs review, this one by Randy Leahy himself. Last week it was Tyler JT, this week it's back to Randy Leahy. There is just so many awesome custom creators in this community guys, and I have firmly decided, I know that just about every time I do a customs video, I'm like, oh, you know, this might be a top five custom, this might be a top five custom for me. But without a doubt guys, I have thought long and hard, and today's custom review is my favorite batch of customs that we've had out of all the custom reviews on the channel. There are some absolute gems in here that I know some of you guys have probably seen on the subreddit by now, like the little RDO 7s, you know, maybe a team color chicane, you know, maybe uh, that midnight purple slingshot that pretty much broke the subreddit a couple weeks ago. There's just all sorts of good stuff in here, guys. So we're gonna have to take a closer look at it. And just an obligatory mention, before we jump into this, the art contest number two on the Accelerator Sub YouTube channel is officially open. I think I have about five submissions so far. Submissions run through, not this Friday, but the next Friday. That is the deadline to submit your art entries for the art contest. If you want details on it, go check out my last video that I posted, uh, or two videos ago on Friday, because that has the full breakdown of the contest. It is a $35 cash prize to the winner. And like I said, if there's only, you know, five entries so far, then you've got a pretty darn good shot to win. So you might as well sketch something and send it in. But now let's transition to this customs review video, guys. I've been itching to post this video for you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Randy has sent us today. All right, guys, I've been absolutely itching to record this from the second these customs arrived. Let's take a look at the first custom of the day. It is a Team Colors style riveted, guys. Check out the paint job on this car. This is officially like a sunset orange paint, but it really gave it a Team Colors vibe. Just check it out, that like sort of bronze metallic orange, guys. Absolutely gorgeous on this car. Love the Metal Maniac decals, the CM5 wheels, chrome engine, absolutely gorgeous. Cannot say enough about the paint job on this car. I've been doing some adjusting with the lighting for these customs videos because the last couple customs videos have just been a little bit darker as I'm um, sort of reviewing the cars. But the problem is, is these cars shine so brightly under the light. They're, if they're not directly under the light, they just look a little bit darker. It's just the way the light shines off of them. But this is an absolute work of art, guys. Let's take a closer look at it and see if we can spin it around. So a team color style riveted. Just whoo, check out that profile from the side, guys. That is gorgeous. Got the tail lights, we've got the decals on the side. Cannot say enough about the chrome engine with that paint, guys. It really makes the car pop. So the first custom of the day is a Team Colors Riveted. Next up, guys, the second custom of the day, continuing in the same train of thought as that Riveted, we have a Team Colors Metal Maniacs Roadrunner with the same sunset orange paint, but with red CM5s. Check out the detail and the shine on this car, guys. Look at that reflection in the light. Oh my goodness, talk about making my heart flutter. Look at this beauty. And once again, similar to the Riveted, unfortunately, camera just does not 100% do these cars justice unless you can get them like under the perfect lighting. That sunset orange paint is absolutely gorgeous with the black flames on the sides. The red CM5s really make the car pop to a new level though. Just check out the shine and the gloss on those decals. There's something about perfectly glossy decals that just Whew, absolutely gorgeous. So let's just take a little bit of a closer look at these again from the side angles. Look at those cars, guys. That is absolutely awesome. That sort of bronze chrome look, absolutely unreal. And uh, I really do like the riveted. I mean, you can't go wrong with the CM5s, the chrome engine, but uh, this Roadrunner, guys, whew, it really stands out even next to the riveted. Just check out the up close look on it. Unbelievable. So the first two customs of the day, the Team Colors Metal Maniacs Roadrunner and the Team Colors Riveted. Just take a look at these cars from that side shot. Again, guys, see if we can come into focus here. Whew, those are two bad looking vehicles. Holy smokes. I think you guys got a little sneak peek of what's coming next in the back of that last shot. So the next custom of the day is probably, again, one of my favorite customs of all time, guys. There's just so many beauties in this lot. We have the Team Colors Chicane Custom check it out guys arguably one of the prettiest cars in that gen 2 line with the crystal blue windshield the bright orange paint the light blue decals you cannot say enough about the team color chicane car and now we have it in custom form which basically means it's like a premium version of that gen 2 chicane guys check out the shine and the gloss on this car chrome engine parts or chrome speakers if you will well i'm pretty sure those are chrome speakers in the back with that crystal blue windshield and the gloss orange paint guys make this car stand out even amongst beauties like these metal maniacs cars i mean i love the paint job on that but gosh this team color chicane just absolutely lights up a room let's take a closer look at it from all the angles just check it out man 
And it is absolutely a godsend that Randy is able to make these customs of these rarer cars because uh, most of the Gen 2 cars have gone up pretty substantially in value over the last couple months. So cars like, you know, Cosmic Realm, Spec Tight, Team Color Chicane, Strip Metal Power Rage. I know he's made those Strip Metal Power Rages for a long time, but uh, this is a great way to get them for a fraction of the price that you'll probably be paying, you know, a year from now. So don't hesitate to grab these while you can because something tells me those Gen 2 cars and Gen 2 customs are only going to go up from here. But the third custom of the day, guys, I think I'm going to have to make a customs ranking video at some point just, you know, to figure out what my true favorite customs are that Randy's made because he's made so many beauties over the years. But uh, this team color chicane absolutely stands out with the best of them. It is an uh, absolute work of art. I know a lot of you guys have probably seen on the subreddit recently, there's been a lot of 3D printing sort of entering the accelerators community, you know, 3D printed uh, Teku CM, CM6, CM5 wheels. There's been all sorts of stuff. Um, Hyperpod pieces that have been 3D printed, I believe. There's just all sorts of cool stuff. So today we have one of the first sets of customs that Randy has made that have some movie accurate wheels. So we have the debut of what he calls aero wheels on the cars. And this is an RDO one with the aero wheels, guys. Check it out. Isn't that absolutely wicked? Looks like something straight out of the storm room with those wheels on it. And don't fret guys, we also have an RDO2 with these wheels as well. These are truly movie accurate wheels, guys. They're absolutely unbelievable. I don't know about you guys, but that was one thing that always kind of bothered me as a kid, you know, with the drone cars that their wheels, you know, they had the CM6s and the CM5s on a couple of the RDO6s, but uh, for the toy line, they never had the truly movie accurate wheels that we saw in the first couple of movies. So this is an awesome substitute for them. Just check it out, guys. I never thought we'd see something like this in custom form. But lo and behold, Randy has done it. So I believe these are 3D printed wheel faces that are on top of these wheels. And uh, just sort of, you know, to give them the red dot in the middle, you got to kind of get them perfectly level. Probably haven't been showing them from the right angle, but they do have the red dot in the middle. So they are truly movie accurate. With all the 3D printing stuff that's coming out these days, guys, there's even more of it coming later in this video. I am so stoked to see what comes next. These movie accurate wheels are absolutely unbelievable. And next up, guys, it's just going to keep getting better and better. So a lot of you guys have probably seen these posted on the subreddit before, but Randy has sent us one to review. We have an RDO7 custom, guys check it out with the drone on top of it this is unbelievable from what i understand someone designed these bike customs and uh released them to the community and then promptly like vanished so he can't even really give the guy full credit for what he created from what i understand someone might have to correct me down in the comments but this design is absolutely unbelievable guys and i think these are 3d printed and uh it's hard to explain just how tiny and minute they are but if you put them next to a regular drones car by comparison and uh, honestly the dimensions are perfect now of course in the movies they were pretty small but uh, it's pretty cool that they absolutely nailed the dimensions you know because it looks like that drone could also you know hop an rdo1 and drive it at the same size so it's absolutely pretty cool but the uh the drone is actually stuck on the car and the wheels do not spin but uh, it is absolutely an unbelievable display piece guys and of course randy has added his own touch to it as well because as you can see this has been painted and given some drone decals and my camera can barely even focus on them because they are so tiny and so detailed so we have the drone decal up in the bottom uh, by that front wheel and we have drone decals elsewhere on the model as well absolutely unreal i don't even know how randy does that with such small decals on such a tiny piece like by comparison guys this is my hand so i don't know how on earth he manages to put those decals on there that are that size it's absolutely unreal he must be doing some kind of black magic on these but it is absolutely gorgeous guys and the gloss paint on it absolutely really makes it pop as far as you know the paint on the back wheels the gloss on the drone itself this is just an absolute work of art so for anybody out there who has not purchased one of these yet i would highly highly recommend getting it from randy because like i said the detail and the quality of it is absolutely top notch it's about as premium as it can possibly get and uh, you know if you're going to get one you got to get at least two or three right so you can have an accurate fleet of the rdo7 customs guys but uh, once again i cannot say enough about the little drone figure on top of the bike that is just absolutely wicked that the guy who designed this thought to put that on there as well like i said the camera can't even focus on it but uh, that is unreal. Makes me wonder if that guy would have eventually, you know, 3D printed actual like full size drone figures for us. Anyways, I could hype up this RDO7 all day because it is absolutely that unbelievable. I really never thought we'd see stuff like this, especially with the drone on it. I can't say enough about that. But uh, speaking of bikes, the next custom of the day is a magnesium custom guys from the silencers team talk about unbelievable with the rdo7 and now we have the magnesium just check out the detail on this bike guys it is absolutely unbelievable and it's a bit bigger and a bit more sturdy than the rdo7 so you don't it doesn't really feel like flimsy per se it feels like a nice solid die cast bike it is absolutely gorgeous and once again silencers decals you can't go wrong 
But this particular shade of purple is absolutely gorgeous on these models, guys. I uh, can't say enough about sort of the gloss purple. But uh, the silver, the purple, the black, the color scheme on this bad boy is absolutely unreal. And that silencer's decal on it, whew, wicked. And to be honest, I'm really not even sure how he made this. I'm not sure if he used another casting for it or if he sort of built it himself. Because I know when he built the Nightlife custom a while ago, um, I believe he had to meld several different you know, castings together into one to sort of make that Nightlife. But this magnesium is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Once again, same with the RDO7. Just can't believe we're seeing these custom bikes and stuff. One of the coolest things about the magnesium is just like the RDO7, it stands up on its own. But the magnesium actually rolls, guys. It rolls perfectly fluidly. And um, you know, if I were to roll it, it would roll across the desk. I don't want to risk damaging it because I'm not exactly sure how fragile it is and I don't want to scuff it up or anything but if you were to roll it it will roll by itself across the desk just like a regular die cast car which is absolutely unreal for a custom bike. so the next custom of the day is this custom magnesium so wicked next to the RDO 7 all we're missing is the nightlife and the jaw jammer and uh, he's made both of those in the past so they are all out there so people can technically now get a full set of four bike customs unbelievable and if I had to choose between these two customs I really don't know which one I would pick they're just both unreal but guys, I know this is already an absolutely unbelievable array of customs, but I believe I have saved the best two customs for last, at least probably my two favorites out of this. So next up, guys, this one absolutely had my jaw on the floor when I opened up the package. We have a premium Crazy 8 custom, guys. Check it out. This car shines in a way that the average custom just does not. Just the paint on this is so reflective and glossy. It is unbelievable. Just look at that shine in the light. That is next level right there. But it's almost like he took all of the colors and features of a regular Highway 35 Crazy 8s and he just increased them to their maximum potential. It is just that eye popping. Just looking at it up close and personal, we had the headlights in the front. Just check out that gloss paint, that sort of tan paint on the front and the back. That paint is absolutely gorgeous with the gloss black in the middle. And I know he made that premium drone Crazy 8s a while ago, but gosh, guys, I think this might even blow that drone Crazy 8s out of the water. I just cannot say enough about how the color scheme pops on this car. And of course, the spoiler on the back is a work of art as well with those back wheel well decals. That's probably my favorite part of the car was that uh, that back spoiler. It's just the color scheme on it is unbelievable. And then of course we have the tail lights on the back, the gloss on the back of the spoiler. This car is a work of art. It's so funny when I think of customs, I always think of you know customs that you know we didn't see like you know team colors, cars, the uh, the bikes, things of that nature. But uh, I never even thought about just getting premium versions of all the regular you know Highway 35 and Accelerators cars. But uh, if you had a full set of these guys, that would be absolutely unbelievable. You know, just premium Aero Flash and. Uh, power pipes, you know, all those gorgeous cars, side draft. I can't even imagine what a side draft would look like with the sort of gloss paint and decals on it, guys. It would be absolutely out of this world. That one might break the internet. But for now, this Crazy 8 is probably the next closest thing. Just cannot say enough about the gleam on this car, guys. It is absolutely next level. And don't worry, guys, I think I'm going to buy a thesaurus or a dictionary at some point so I can get some more adjectives for you because I know you guys are always commenting about how I use the same four adjectives, you know, wicked and what is it uh wicked unbelievable unreal I, I pretty much say like the same four things to describe every car but after a while there's only so many adjectives you can use guys because these cars are truly a work of art so the next custom of the day is the premium edition crazy eights just check out those shots guys and it's funny because i thought this surely would be the best one of the batch guys but i think the last one might be my favorite so the last custom of the day guys is the Midnight Purple Premium Slingshot Custom with the pop-up headlights. Just take a look at the shot of it in the front with the pop-up headlights and the Highway 35 decals, guys. That Midnight Purple paint is absolutely out of this world. And uh, one of the coolest things about it is that if you're not directly looking at it in the light, it almost turns into more of like a uh, magenta orangish paint, which is even cooler. So it's sort of like it changes colors as you're looking at it. like. In this shot, see how sort of on the sides, it almost looks like it has a magenta color when the light's not on it. It almost looks a little orangish, but that's a, that magenta, I mean, the midnight purple itself when the light's on it is a gorgeous, gorgeous paint job. But that magenta, guys, holy cow, that sort of gleam on it, look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful paint color. And I always say purple is one of my favorite colors, so this car is an absolute treat for me to look at. But uh, it is just unbelievable, guys. All the different shades of purple, the decals on it, the gloss paint, the wheels. There is just not a single flaw on this car. Check out that gloss on the top of it. Just check out the color scheme on this car, guys. 
unbelievable. This might be the prettiest custom I've ever seen. I seem to say that about one once per video, but uh, this car, guys, is absolutely out of this world. And the further you get away from it, the cooler and cooler it looks. Just look at the quality of the decals on this car, guys. They're just out of this world. See that shine? Like this car will pop out of any shelf that it's on, no matter what it is next to. I mean, not to get too dramatic, but I have a regular backdraft here that's missing the uh, the finish. It's been sitting on my desk forever. But just look at the difference in the quality between the backdraft to the slingshot to the crazy eights, guys. That is unbelievable. Like this looks like a McDonald's car compared to those two. Like if those were on shelves when I was a kid for like $9.99, $12.99 a piece, I would buy them off shelves. I would get my parents to buy them for me because they just look that unreal. I mean, seriously, look at the quality. And those wheels on that slingshot are absolutely out of this world. Great choice there. And between these two guys, holy cow. My first thought when I saw this sort of midnight purple paint was, oh my gosh, I have to color my car with that paint. Like that would be a paint that's worthy of redoing your whole entire car with because it just absolutely shines in the light. But uh, gosh, I can't stop looking at that crazy ace either. I could honestly make this video probably about 50 minutes long just checking out these two cars. But I don't wanna keep you guys all day, so we'll just take one more look at this car all the way around. We'll take a look at those pop-up headlights. I don't even know how he does that. That is probably one of my favorite features about the car, other than the paint job, of course. That paint job is unbelievable. I'd love to see all the cars in the Accelerators line with that paint job. And I can only imagine what a side draft would look like with that. Just absolutely unbelievable. And just, man, t it's almost like you have to look at it from far away to get the true quality of the decals and the gloss paint. Unbelievable. So as you get closer, you sort of give up some of that quality of the camera shot just because it is being filmed with an iPhone. But this car, guys, I don't want to make any bold predictions, but this might have just become my new favorite custom. It is unbelievable and out of this world. Hats off to Randy. This is just an absolute work of art. Belongs in some sort of a customs museum. There's one last look at our fleet of customs for the day, guys. We have the Midnight Purple Slingshot, the Team Colors, Metal Maniacs Roadrunner. We have the RDO 1 and the RDO 2 with the Arrow Movie Accurate Wheels, even with the red dot in the middle. Such a nice touch. And then we have the RDO 7 Custom with that gloss black paint, Team Colors Chicane, Team Colors Riveted. Then, of course, we have the Magnesium Custom, the Premium Crazy 8 Custom to wrap it up. And it's just so funny, guys. When I saw that there was a Team Color Chicane in this customs batch, I was like, oh, sure. Clearly, this will be the best one out of the batch because, you know, it's just probably, you know, a top five, top 10 Acceleracers model in general. But then I saw these two Highway 35 customs, guys, and they absolutely stole the show. And that is going to wrap it up for this customs review, guys. I got to say, like I said earlier, I think this is the best batch of customs that we've had so far on the channel as far as, you know, just the diversity, you know, the Crazy 8s, that's a Highway 35 premium custom, the Team Color Chicane, that's a Gen 2 custom, you know, the bikes, the Midnight Purple Slingshot, that is just gorgeous. You just cannot go wrong with any of these and those team colors, you know, Riveted, Roadrunner. This just had all sorts of goodies in this batch and I really love these diverse ones. But once again, a huge shout out to Randy for letting us show these off on the channel. He is the absolute man. And be sure to let him know what your favorite custom is from this batch down in the comments, maybe what you'd like to see next. The, uh, the possibilities are endless, as most of you guys know from seeing the, uh, the reviews and stuff that have been popping up lately on the Reddit. Oh, and on a side note, if you cannot get enough of customs content, um, go check out JC Squared's most recent video. It was a big like customs review showcase of a bunch of the stuff that people have been coming up with in the community as far as like 3D printing, some of Randy's customs, just all sorts of good stuff. So definitely go check that review out on JC's channel if you want like 20 minutes just to awesome customs action but like per usual guys i'm going to leave the link to randy's ebay page down in the description of the video and in the pinned comment so be sure to go save his page so you can be alerted whenever he lists new customs um he typically i've been seeing him listing quite a bit recently but uh, they just sell as fast as he can list them it's funny i'll see him list you know seven or eight customs and the next day it'll say seven or eight customs have sold so they are just still in absolutely crazy high demand so be sure to go grab what you're looking for if you see it pop up because uh, they do not last long but anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerators Yourself for more Accelerators related content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to go submit some art contest entries. Peace out, guys.